Well, how is the news playing out within Macron's political party? Joining us now is Natalia Puzirev, a member of Parliament for La Republic on Marche, and she joins us now from the National Assembly. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. First of all, just want to get your immediate reaction to not only the resignation that we had this morning, but the naming now of Jean Castex as the new Prime Minister. Is it a good decision? I think, anyway, we had to uh, form a new government uh, to give uh, a new impulse. So it's very unusual that in France you keep with the same um, government the, during the whole mandate. So uh, this new government will be headed by a man who has been involved in uh, managing the deconfinement and uh, who, is, um, who has a strong anchoring in the, um, in the territory uh, um, with um, local responsibilities um, and uh, I think this is, uh, yes, a, quite a good choice. As you probably just heard from our international correspondent, a relatively unknown figure uh, across France. Why is Macron doing this reshuffle now? Of course, the timing of the local elections over last weekend presumably played a factor into shaking things up right now. No, but I don't think it's uh, linked to the local elections. It was uh, said before that, um, you know, for the last two years, we, we have to um, turn a page or open a new chapter uh, with new reforms coming in. Uh, first, we'll have to complete uh, the transformation of the country that, that has been uh, pursued with uh, Edouard Philippe, and we are very thankful uh, for the action he has, uh, he has done, he has uh, been leading in France. But there are new things on the agenda, new issues that we want to focus on, like, uh, for instance, the uh, social protection with the reshuffle of the health system, including uh, the addition of a new branch of uh, uh, for the elderly um, persons, and we have to focus more on the environment as well. Um, so I think this is really normal, a normal behaviour to change at this point of time in the quinquennat. So there's going to be some positions freed up in the cabinet. Will you be applying for one? No, I'm not. And that was fine. Very simple, very straightforward. Just finally, as it's being part of, of your party and fine, you don't want to take a place at the helm exactly how we just talked about. But the party is losing support locally. We have to sort of address that because none of the major cities in France secured up any seats. Are you confident that come the next round of elections, your party would have the public support? Well, I think there's... Uh very strong um, um, challenge that is to touch more, be more in touch with the people. You're right. Um, we have seen the abstention uh, very uh, high in the last uh, local elections. Uh, I think the people are willing to have more open democracy. And um, I, I say, you know, the next two years, uh, we'll have to put the seeds for a new kind of um, democratic system. I really think we are preparing for the next next term, next quinquennat, and that it will have definitely to be more open to the society. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Natalia Pusarev, Member of Parliament for the Republic on March. Really appreciate it.